Hey there, and welcome to this ProFlows Quick Tip. I'm Cameron, and today we're talking about chromatic aberration, specifically two ways to easily create chromatic aberration without third-party plugins. There's a lot of third-party plugins out there to create chromatic aberration, and they can give you some amazing results. But if you don't have a third-party plugin, this is a way you can manually create chromatic aberration. So two ways. The first way we're going to talk about, and you may have seen this before, is got my footage here. I'm going to go to Effect, Channel, Shift, Channels. We're going to keep red on. Green is full off. Blue is full off. So now we've got just our red channel here. So think of RGB. This is red for R. We're going to duplicate this footage. Come back up here to red, full off. Green is on. So now we've got our green channel. We're going to set this to a transfer mode of screen. So now it's starting to look like our original image. We're going to duplicate one more time and bring the blue channel in. So we're going to go up here to green, full off. Blue is on. And now we're back to our, our original image here, okay? So I'm gonna take a screenshot of this so we can remember how this originally looked. And we'll go ahead and screenshot right there. And all we have to do now is just select our bottom layer and just nudge our position. So we can maybe say 961. Let's move it a little bit over, you know, one pixel, let's try two pixels. Let's go a little bit farther, let's go 964, and you can really start to see what's happening right here. As I zoom in here, you can see some chromatic aberration really happening up here. If I go back and show our original image, that's the original. This is the new chromatic aberration. So again, we're four pixels off here, which is quite a bit. Chromatic aberration is typically very, very subtle. And I'm just using my arrow key and I'm nudging it back. You know, maybe something in there. That's the original, that's the new chromatic aberration. Sometimes I'll also take the top layer, maybe nudge it up a couple pixels you know, up, maybe left a little bit, just to give it a little bit different look. And there you go, it's very, very subtle, but there is our chromatic aberration in technique number one. Now let's move on to technique number two. Again, we've got the same footage here. And we're gonna go to effect. And we're gonna go down here to perspective and we're gonna select 3D glasses. Yes, it sounds kind of strange, but just, just trust me on this one. So what we're gonna do here is we're going to set our left view to our original footage. There we go, it's looking a little strange. We're gonna set our 3D view to balance color red, blue. There we go. And now the magic happens with scene convergence and vertical alignment. Uh, I found for this one a value of two. Actually, let's do a value of negative two and a positive value of vertical alignment two. And there you go. There is our very simple chromatic aberration again with using the 3D glasses feature. So this is without and this is with. So again, this is a little bit too much. So maybe I'll go negative one and a positive one. So that's with and without. Again, maybe it might be still you know too much with the vertical, so maybe I'd crank this down to say 0.5, maybe make this a negative 0.5, and with and without. So very subtle here, but this is a really simple way to add chromatic aberration to your footage or your typography inside of After Effects.